Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mokulover and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as that American Union state under our long dong Huey Long, but let us select now a national focus. From a, a militia to a fighting force would be pretty probably pretty good to do. An air force or formation of an air force wouldn't be too bad or American Navy. Well, we can kind of wait on that. Back on the world stage, we'll see what happens. We can't do new Washington rebuilding the country, so let's go with for militia to a fighting force. So far, the only force the Kingfisher's command has been small-time militias and urban environments. With the advent of the Civil War, many generals and group armies or army groups have deserted to join the real American government. Adapting our previous forces and hierarchy, these newcomers should be our priority. Get a bonus to land auction and some army XP. So right now, we literally are picking up where we left off yesterday, in which we are the first faction to rebel. And for the love of God, please, I hope we keep Texas. All of the Texas. The whole of Texas. In which now, it looks like the CSA are mortal enemies. Have just appeared. Uh, why? I know Pennsylvania is part of the Steel Belt, or I guess nowadays the Rust Belt. But uh, why did they join? I like Pennsylvania too much. Stand off in America. I see. And oh, ten more divisions. Don't mind if I do. I did organize these guys before uh, I started uh, playing again or reloaded the save. We want to recruit seven divisions in northern Texas. Let's see. These bayonet divisions are actually not bad at all. I want to throw you guys over here. Let's see. This. Illinois, Indiana, come over here because these, I'm going to keep these guys pretty much all the same. These are horses and motorized and stuff like that. So let's do that. Actually, oh, horses. Uh, I like using horses. That template's okay, but the motorized. Uh, actually, let's compare them too before we get too far. We can let time go on though, just a little bit first. So, horses are on the right, motorized are on the left. It looks like they're exactly the same, almost, except the motorized have just slightly more defense, slightly more breakthrough, same amount of piercing, rights in New England and New York. In recent days, syndicalist militias have been struggling and failing to take control of northeastern states, from New York and New Jersey all the way up to the coast of Maine. So far, the governors in the region have clamped down on hard on violence, though the result has been a series of violent uh, riots in Buff Boston and Buffalo. Not to mention a wave of uprising still going on within New York City itself. Citizens are on edge, and governors have denied the federal government permission to raise local militias in the area, fearful of in increasing tensions further. A few more New England governors are reported to be quietly asking asking the Canadian government to intervene should worse come to worse. Interesting. Uh, so you have 12 max speed, 6.5, same HP. You guys actually have more organization, a little surprising there. And you actually use more supply than motorized. I guess they need feed for the horses. Because uh, I don't want to have too many here. Uh, I'm going to actually put you guys over here just because these are going to be the motorized. These guys are going to be the boys that we send out uh, trucking around, I guess we'll say. Just because I'm going to need a good front line. Federal control maintained in... Minnesota, that is actually a good thing because we hate the CSA, but I just noticed that we have the PSA over here. Those god dang Californian, Washington, or Oregonian rebels. So, violence by syndicalist militias groups have expanded to the city of Minneapolis and the surrounding region, with blockades erected on roads in Minneapolis airports and repeatedly invaded by several armed groups. This almost sounds like 2020. Before the violence could spread further, however, the governor of Minnesota declared the state's allegiance to the country proper and rededicated the state's loyal National Guard to fighting back their insurgents. While the struggle continues, for this moment, the state remains in federal hands. I see. I see what you say. Southern governors meet in Baton Rouge. A large crowd recently gathered outside the state house in Baton Rouge to congratulate Huey Long for the defiance of the federal government. And news agencies were soon to arrive on the scenes when suddenly the crowd began unfurling the battle flag of the old Confederacy, sensing an impending political disaster. Heck yes! Um, Huey Long had his man contemplate these radical symbols of the Civil War. When the governors arrived, the press only saw the image of a defiant America determined to fight the illegitimate powers of the federal corruption and cynical suppression. The governors are now meeting with Long inside the state house to determine the proper response to the federal government's deadline. A close call. And yes, my home state declared support for Huey Long, responding to mounting pressures from the militia groups in Charlotte. The governor of North Carolina today declared that the state would rejoin, or actually join, with aligned with Huey Long. While there are reports of riots breaking down in several cities, most of the state appears to be uh, appears to support the governor's decision, and already federal forces are pulling out of the region before they find themselves uh, overwhelmed. We welcome them the solution of the U.S. Navy. The decay of the order in the U.S. has impacted the U.S. Navy much like it had every other facet of American society. Many sailors and even some officers are sympathetic towards the, with well, what the Naval High Command has dubbed forces opposed to the Republican public order, avoiding mentioning any political terms to stay impartial as possible. Still, defections have become the norm. At first, the Naval High Command managed to prevent the collapse of the fleet, detaining sailors and officers loyal to the Long's cause, but they cannot keep this up for long. Events on the West Coast and caused the disintegration of the U.S. Navy. Battles between the Federal Loyalists and mutinous ships have broken the Pacific Fleet and given sailors across the Union a chance to break with, with the regime in Washington. Those some declared for the syndicalists, others announced their support for Long's uprising in Louisiana. Even a few admirals choose to switch sides and align with us. We've also received reserve fleets and vessels stationed in the South from them and from arriving loyalists, we have been able to assemble a modest naval force. We welcome loyal soldiers. Convoys? I don't think convoys are going to cut it. Oh my goodness, all this crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Carriers? Most of these carriers are just straight trash. Goodbye. 
Uh, let's see. Valk Creek Heavy Hulls pre-war. Nope, 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 nope. Is this a capital ship? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Goodbye, then. Cruiser Hulls. That is... Why you use that imagery or that symbol for a capital ship? Game? Mod? What? Light ship for basically destroyers that want to ignore those. Uh, keep those subs up. We're going to have to focus on this for now. Oh, man. Oh, that looks like trash. If anything, honestly, the best thing to make... Oh, this is such garbage, too. Jesus Christ. Why is it so garbage? <sighs> Maybe subs. Subs can be easily refitted. I don't want to make them, though. Ah, oh, this is so garbage. But this takes so long to make. It, it can, it'll it always be relevant throughout the entire game, but we must well go with that, then. God dang it. Uh, why do you hurt me so much? Come to Louisiana, that'd be great. And let's let time go on as we look at... Oh, wait, what are you... Hello? Are you doing in things independently of everyone else? Hopefully not. Uh, I'm so glad we got... <sighs> Raleigh. I've been to Raleigh several times. I love it. The AP declar Declaration of Legitimacy. While many of the Southern Senators were in favor of drafting new amendments on the spot, the urge to retain the legitimacy of the continuous U.S. prevailed. The AFP Declaration... Declaration of Emergency, or uh, Legitimacy, was drafted in Baton Rouge over the course of a few days, particularly listing the grievances with the federal government. This declaration outlined the lack of protection the federal government gave to its citizens and the role of the state to protect uh, the welfare of the poll. The signatories declared that it was within their constitutional right to organize a militia against tyranny, and that the federal government's deadline should not only be ignored, but it must be defied. As long as you don't declare that, uh, what the CSA did back a couple, like, 70, 80 years ago. Cool. You're not trying to secede because you want to secede. Anyway, as long as militias lose ba No, they lose battles in Tennessee! No, that was one of the few times I've actually lost Tennessee! Conflicting reports of battles between syndicalists and longest militias throughout the state of Tennessee were resolved today when the longest militias were defeated by federal forces outside the state legislature Nashville. God dang it, no wonder I never go to Nashville. While federal forces are still fighting for f control over the city, it's quickly becoming clear that they have the clear advantage, and Governor Gordon Browning made his televised address stating that the Tennessee would not follow radical forces. Already, many men are withdrawing from the state, conceding control to the government. Oh, crapola. That is not good. Um, I'm just gonna put all you guys right here. That's fine. God dang it. Ah, we got some from North Carolina. Please keep me Southern Texas. Please. We lost Tennessee, but you gotta give me Southern Texas then. That's not cool. Okay, Federals are victorious in New York. I'm actually glad about that because I don't want the CSA too strong. The battle between syndicalist militia forces in New York City all the way down south into New Jersey have ended with federal forces declaring victory. Already, the leaders of syndicalist militias are being rounded up in prison, although many have vanished into urban areas with lingering reports of violence still ongoing. Indeed, it will likely take months for the federal government to reestablish firm control over the urban area. For the moment, forces loyal to the government are concentrating on securing the eastern seaboard and strengthening the border with neighboring Pennsylvania. Interesting. Also, there's a couple comments I want to get to, but as long as there's events, uh, we can't get to it. So, Chief of Staff. And this is one of them. So, one of the comments was. Uh, someone already recommended some of the administrators or advisors that we can choose uh, for this campaign. With the Civil War looming, the fact we do not have a chief of staff has prompted concern among various political and military leaders. Thus, they met with Hugh Lundgren to appoint a chief of staff to win the war. Also, let's look at this. We are way out of guns because I'm making a lot of militia divisions. I've never, I hate militia. But if we can make them within 40 days, that's how long it takes to train militia divisions. If we can scrape by by using militia divisions while focusing on getting light tanks to pierce enemies' booties. That's what we want, so. Try that. So, Chief of Staff, Mosley or Harbud. So, it was recommended by one of the dudes, um, by someone that left a comment yesterday saying we should go with Harbud because he gives us more max entrenchment. Um, I'm just gonna take the, uh, actually, I, I kinda like this more because you get more artillery attack and defense, but I normally take that. So, for this campaign, we're not going to because I'll probably, whenever I play as the American Union State again someday, we'll probably take Mosley, but let's go with Harbard. I almost never choose this guy, but we do get a lot more entrenchment. Plus 10, god dang. That's pretty good. Harbard has been selected. I'm Mongolia. Oh, yeah, Belgrad Pop usually does stuff now. It's fine. Just give me more divisions. Federal. Yes! That's what I get when we lose Tennessee. Federal revolt fails in Texas. While the state of Texas has firmly declared its allegiance to Huey Long, forces loyal to the federal government have been in hot contention for controlling battles with the minimum of rage across the southern portion of the state. Oh, there goes Romania. Uh, Governor James Alred already only held a conference with southern mayors and today declared an accord with them that has been reached. They will unite and support Long and the proper American government a welcome victory. That's what we get. We get all that fuel. That's right. Oh, yeah. Ah, Foundation Belgrade Pact. The American Union State Congress convenes. Although, the, through the grapevine, dozens of congressmen have heard of Huey Long's assembly in Baton Rouge. Some came to wish Long well and stayed, others simply to court favor with the revolution. These meetings in Baton Rouge began to take on congressional appearance with Coughlin standing as the president of the, of the attending senators. Aware of the growing determination to defy the federal government and this lack of willingness to negotiate means civil war is all but certain. And a large number of politicians have slinked away to the north, although those that remain seem more determined than ever to see victory. They'll get theirs eventually. 
Our chief of army, now that civil war looming, the fact we now have a chief of army has been prompted concerns among various political military leaders. Thus, they have met with he belonged to appoint a chief of staff to win the war. Emerson, uh, Andrews, or Patton. So it was recommended I either take Andrews, which gives you better recon, a better out of supply, land out of attack, and spikers, or Patton, Jr. Motorized, you know the way we go, I want as much armor as possible, so we're going to go with George Smith, Patton, Jr. One day's good. Oh, right. So we got North Texas. Uh, Southern, more, Northern Texas. Now we have Southern Texas. Let's get Georgia because it gives you the most militia divisions possible. Uh, I'm going to throw you all right there, too. Man, you guys look... Some of these divisions look awfully weak. Oh, my goodness. That's what we're going to see. Uh, Plane-wise. Do we have any planes? We have uh, some planes. Nice. Actually, done in half. Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. Oh, actually, that did it for everyone. Ta lots of tactical bombers and close air support. Do we have any... Oh, were these the groups I was working on earlier or something? Going to stop training for now because I want to make sure that we put enough planes on each army group. I'll put you there because you're probably going to be some of the most important ones. I'll have to do that. That'll be fine. Do this, do that, do that. One, two. Put two here. Actually, we can put two on each one, which is nice for now until we get more divisions. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at the Navy. We've got eight submarinos. Oh, that's okay. It's not great. Do we have a Sea Wolf at all? AA attack. Screening efficiency, not bad. Air factor, that's honestly not great. Superior positioning, level 33. I'm going to keep these two. Screening efficiency, uh, I kind of want a new guy, but we're not going to do that. Leader experience gain, chance to receive critical hit. We'll go with you. You don't seem great, but whatever. Um, a carrier, a couple. Are these cruisers? Don't think we're. Oh, crap. They're heavy cruisers. Battle, we got a lot of capital ships, Jesus. So we got one, that makes it, uh, we need four, three. Sorry, that's the way I calculate things in my head. Three? There you go, now that's that's balanced. And over here, one, one, oh crap, that's not going to be good. Whatever, just do it, that, that, that would be okay. And you'll shoot like lead by. I like deep oceans. I like superior tactician, but this guy has a fly swatter, more naval AA, better screening efficiency, even the positioning air controller. We do have a carrier, don't we? Oh, we have carrier coming. Um, as much as I love that, we can't really use them. Uh, we're probably going to go with screening efficiency for now. But, uh, oh, it doesn't really matter. That's okay. At least we know who where our ships may lie. And actually, you know what? What if we had go? You, you guys go ahead and train for now. Just get a, let's grab a smidgen of naval XP because we can. Uh, let's see what happens. So, since the CSA lost that, they don't get that. Nevada still is not defected to the PSA. I'll say China's doing stuff. 1.21 a day. Uh, so, right, but President, you bet. Chief of the Air Force. With the Civil War looming, we don't have an Air Force chief. We, we already know what's going to happen. So, it was recommended not choose Cromelin. Huh. Well, yeah, I can kind of see why. Curtis LeMay. More naval stuff. Lindbergh. Lindbergh's the right dude for this one. Deadline looms. So as the federal government's deadline looms, it's become clear that there will be no budging on either side. Across the part of the country controlled by long supporters, an army formed of militia, and the Minutemen have been raised in a growing determination to see the country of made by the force has taken hold. The federal government in turn has also made it clear that they no longer see a path to compromise. It's only a matter of time before the bullets start flying. And there goes East Turkestan. Yeah, whatever. Happens. Oh, look at that population. Oh, we are mobilizing. Second American Civil War. It is go time. We're gonna get more factories. Great. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of this. We're gonna need a lot of that. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of this as well. Uh, we gonna need. Oh my god, we need so much steel. Uh, how many factories do we have? We have seven more. Um, I'm gonna make sure we got enough of this and we got enough of that. We need a buttload of steel. I mean, we're talking like big butts, like huge butts. We are gonna need some aluminum. Actually, no, we got plenty of aluminum. So we got that. Fighters, get some interwar fighters eventually as well, if we can. We are going to need some naval bomber carrier versions instead. And then we're going to need some tactical bombers, because I think I want to use those. We'll see what happens. Even though we're using close air support, that's okay for now. Um, Do we really not have any steel? Please tell me we have... Oh, we got to go for Tennessee. Tennessee, you're going to be ours right now. You got to get up there... ASAP. Take Tennessee. I'm going to go ahead and tell our guys to just march on ahead. This is a bad idea. I know it's really, 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 really a bad idea. But go ahead, just so we can take as much land as possible. So the German equipment arrives. The friends of Germany, the German Empire sent us a shipment of infantry equipment to aid in our struggle. 
Thank you, Germany. Authorized fire bombings with the successes of strategic bombing during the Valkyrie proposal from the USAAF has reached the high command. It, it, it describes how to utilize a percentage of the budget to create a super group, separate group of bombs with a specialized chemical mixture that can start huge fires upon landing with the idea of utilizing these bombs on American soil against our enemies. While this could yield great effects hindering our enemies' industrial capabilities, the ethical implications of utilizing such inhumane weapons of destruction has made many members of the staff restless on the subject, as these bombs might be easily end up hitting civilians unintentionally. Should we approve this despite of the dangers? Yes, they are all traitors. Hmm. They get less factory repair speed. No, they are Americans too. We are for the common man, the average man, the poor man. They are Americans, no matter how misguided they may be. Some of them can should will still be able to see the lot. Get that goddamn state of Tennessee. Ain't nobody gonna take Tennessee away from me. No, no, no. Oh, buddy boy, that's what I'd like to see. I am really pulling out my southern accent here, which I almost never use anymore because I don't live in the south. Uh, let's see. So, like I said before, we could probably go Mosley some other time. Devers reform plans, which I normally like to do, but we're gonna go with Pan's reform plan because I want armor. So, setting our updated army organization, General Pan has approached us with a reform plan meant to shake up the army from the ground up, insisting that a strong offensive thrust is the best way of dwindling or defending our lands from the corrupt feds and treacherous reds and those other people in the Mickey Mouse clan in California. His plan will see us orient our industry towards the rapid motorization of our forces. While his harsh methods have, have their critics, no one's doubting the effectiveness that he'll have with these armored horses. Cool. Uh, actually, if you want to, just go that way and then kill them all. There you go. Easy, right? Alright, so maybe we should stop training. We didn't get any XP, which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Deficit, 13,000. That's alright, whatever. Artillery, yeah, this is not looking good. Uh, artillery, we could probably improve that a little bit. Go down to there, maybe? Alright, so with Tennessee... Oh, we only got 39. Oh, you can be Chief of the Navy. So, Chief of Navy. It was recommended to choose Halsey or Willard, but let's see. Robinson. That's not bad. That's not bad. Capital ship attack. Richardson. Oh, wait. Halsey or Willard. Well, I don't have either one of those. Uh, sortie efficiency, ooh, or Bagley, Bagley, eh, that's, a, that's not really worth it, Richardson or Robinson, I don't really know, let's see, do I want to focus on capital ships, like just battleships and battle cruisers, or do I want to focus on carriers, that is the ultimate question that we have right now, now I wish we didn't, have, we had more than three research slots, but it makes sense why, uh, because the south probably isn't too scientifically advanced, I want to say, hmm, it's easier to get a carrier out because you need less armaments on the carriers. So let's go with carriers in this one. We're gonna go with Richardson, just because power projection, we want to project as much power as possible. Ah, yes, division's good. Throw them right there. Uh, if that's a case, I'm gonna actually throw you guys right here, because eventually I'm gonna pull some of these divisions out as we raise up more militia divisions, so it is what it is. That'd be good. Keep going, keep going, don't stop with, with whatever you're doing. Um, Fox Connor, I'm gonna use you later. Clifton B. Kate's good. Let's get some more militia divisions. Five, 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 five. Three divisions in Tennessee. That's not gonna. That ain't gonna be enough. Louisiana. Here we go. Oh, we're taking little portions of Virginia. That's nice. Oh, Integralist Brazil. Yes. Argentina. Yes. I totally didn't realize you went to Ar Integralist. We'll see how long they last. God dang, this is disgusting. Tennessee. How could you? How could you betray us like this? Come on, please move, 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 move. Great. Still need a little bit more steel. I will actually trade away for it if I can. With a commune of France or them? Uh, I don't think so. Is there anyone down here I can get it from? Ukraine, Spain, Norway, Burma, Australia. Oh my gosh. It really doesn't look like anyone down here. We can trade with Canada, but... Mm. No one down here has enough steel. I don't want to trade with Germany because I can get my supply line sunk. West Indies Federation probably doesn't have enough steel for us. Yeah, they're probably all the way down near the bottom anyways. Finland, what type of flag is that? Ooh. French Republic. That's only six, though. Oh, I don't want to do this. Burma. That's so far away. Spain might be okay to do, though. Because I gotta get the, them tanks out. Actually. Put you underneath. We don't need more tanks. Good. Kill that division off if we can. Um, yeah, I am lacking some soldiers here. Fourth Balkan War. We will stop attacking when it's uh, good and ready for us to. You keep up the good fight right there. Nice. 
Nice, yes, yes, good. We got to a Pika. That's good. We will stop attacking soon enough, but we'll gotta wait first. Oh crap, don't abandon T Nashville. Alright. I wanna stop attacking, but I know we shouldn't. These two divisions gotta die. Anything I can do here, not really. Oh, they've been cut off. Great. Um, I'm gonna say go ahead and stop attacking them. We gotta manually control this a little bit better. Do that. Richmond is looking pretty good. Alright, let's stop the attacks where they're not going great, like here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We don't Oh, look at that. That's beautiful, actually. That's really good. If we're losing, we should probably stop attacking. Normally. There you go. Now that's nice. Good. Plenty of army XP. You're in Nashville. They can't get to them quick enough. Hopefully, you help out. That'd be good. God dang, I want these tanks out quickly. Ah, Louisiana. Thank you. Country thanks you. Alright, let's see. Five, five. Oklahoma has five. We don't know how long we're going to have Oklahoma, so... We should be able to keep it, but we'll see what happens. Russia announces their ambitions. We have three areas that have been encircled. Trying to make it four, which is awesome. Can I get a DC already? Lindbergh appeals to Long. So, Lindbergh is arranged with a meeting between Huey Long and a number of these leading industrialists, including Henry Ford, Cock, and Hunt. These men are inclined to close the factories and refineries within the South to comply with orders from the federal government. But... They are instead persuaded by Lindbergh to stick up for Huey Long and move their industry or business empires into the American Union state on a few conditions. They ask that Huey Long guarantee some sort of political exemption to them in their dire economic times as well as a promise of a political office once the war is won. If Long agrees to their demands, it will give them greater influence and many of his supporters will wonder if he plans on betraying his ideas. However, refusing in such a time might prove costly. So, this is one of the events, and we'll get another one too, about the Silver Legion. I can probably still accept these and not get cooed by the business plot or Pelly later on, so I will not betray my ideals. Sure. Sure, why not? War powers? Sure. Just, we gotta make sure we approve of the right people when the right time come al comes along. Well, the federal government at least is caught in a bind. I'm really surprised Nevada didn't flip. Because every, almost every single game I see in Kaiserreich, Nevada flips. Which sucks if you're not playing, uh, or if you're playing anyone but the PSA, but still. Oh, we didn't get him in circle. God dang it, guys. What the heck? Oh yeah, you might get insulted. Brazilian volunteers and uh, equipment arrive in these dark times. It's comforting to know that we have friends, many hoping for our success. Integros Brazil set us volunteers and equipment to aid in the civil war. While these men may lack elite training equipment, they traveled almost 10,000 miles to help us free America. Best not to disappoint, disappoint these lads. It's like international. What a bunch of syndicalist, socialist, commies. Whatever they are. I don't think commies exist in this universe. Let's go get Jefferson City and then St. Louis. Oh, Brazilian volunteers. Yes, thank you. I'll have to put you under... Simpson, who's going to do a great job for us. Can you guys uh, do this over here, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep these guys business. Busy. Day three, Hemingway's speech. Syndicalist's delegation to the Second International Congress. Ernest Hemingway has today given a speech condemning our actions against the CSA and calling for intensified support from the Reds in the war. Uh, we must redouble our efforts and crush, crush Reed before he receives any additional help. Oh, why, why do we lose political power? What the heck, man? You gotta go down here and then go that way. And you guys go there. Go, 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 go! We got another encirclement, guys. We've got him. We got the steel from Tennessee as well. Then we could use more smoke generators. I was really doing smoke generators. Wow, what am I doing? 37, construction speed. What are we building? Civilian factories? Well, that seems okay. Not great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I get Washington? Please let me take Washington. Come on, come on, come on. Move up. Uh, take one of you guys move up as well. Shorten the line so we can stretch it to get to Washington. We're taking Washington! Woo! We'll do the father found and father's proud. But we're gonna lose it probably. Because I don't want to get encircled. Um, they're shifting around. Hold on, hold the phone. Can you guys please hurry this up? We might lose that division in there. Come on. Alright, if we they, 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 okay, okay, they don't want to take Washington back. Oh, I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Alright, very nice. South Carolina, Southern Texas has five. Alabama sells five though too, so we can do that one first. A glorious encirclement right there. Seriously, um, this is not looking good for these guys. I really don't care about the PSA to be honest with you that much. Oh, that's not good. So they're kind of like an afterthought. We've already taken St. Louis as well. All right then. Just please don't get encircled yourselves. 
Pelly pledges allegiance to Long. Or I, th I thought I was going to say the Lord, but the Long. One of the more unusual well wishers to visit Hubert Long is an eccentric but passionate man named William Dudley Pelly. He is the leader of an all white na legionaries political and religious social club called the Silver Legion. His membership is moderate, but his enthusiasm for Hubert Long's ideals is unsettling enthusiastically. Uh, Pelly has come up with a request for money to take on an evangelistic and patriotic tour of America to gather support for the American Union State. This proposal would imply that he was followers that he supports a fledgling Christian identity movement, which classes with his personal distaste for the political ideology of Klansmen and prohibi prohibitionists. How shall we uh, respond? Uh, Pele gives me the creeps. More army speed, by less population. More loyalists, are, of course, are always good. And which we can call up uh, a little bit of uh, legion support to get political power, war support. I think that, uh, that sounds like a great idea. Nothing bad could ever happen from that. And we'll use the silver legion support for 90 days. We get better training times, much better recovery rate, 50,000 manpower, guns. Who wouldn't want the Silver Legion in their lives? Ah, oh, we have Washington firmly under control. Now they have Denver. Was it that? No, which one's the last one? New York City? Boston. Oh, Boston is. Oh, Boston. New York, New England hasn't been taken out by uh, anyone else. Oh, that's not good when CSA takes it over. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to get encircled here, hopefully. Potentially. If we can move in here. Go, go, go. Don't get encircled. Oh, we're not going to get encircled here. Good. We had, is it is the federal government even trying or something? Like, what's going on, man? Move up, move up. Don't lose Nashville. I mean, that's that's amazing that we already have Washington D.C. and St. Louis and Topeka, which is nice. Firearms manufacturers, we get. Oh, we probably need to build more guns more quickly. Yeah, we definitely do. Industrial contracts. Oh, that'd be so nice too. But we don't have the we don't have the resources for it. Tank commissions. I'm probably going to go with firearms manufacturers. The small arms industry is in dire need of reform. In spite of the national emergency, independent contractors continue to waste money researching fi civilian firearms. A restriction on big game hunting later, and some manufacturers are beginning to focus on military arms. All right, we could push on a front, but I don't really want to yet. I want to see if we can ex get out of our current state of uh, industrial ineptitude, we'll call it. That's actually, that's, not, that's actually very, very fitting. Industrial ineptitude. God dang, I need these god dang tanks. Can I support specific government? You piece of garbage Canadians. Today, the Canadian government, and through them, the exiled British leaders and the entirety of the Entente, declared support for the Pacific States of America as a true and only legitimate claim to the mantle of American leadership. They rebelled. While stopping short of a promising direct military intervention, they have offered to bolster Pacific force with equipment and volunteers, as, is, as well as an array of military advisors. Their statement stated solely that America was required to maintain world order and prevent the dissolution of one of us, or one of the world's greatest powers, into chaos. What do you mean, son? Seriously, what do you mean? Like, that is the... Besides Hawaii, they're literally the weakest faction. Have you seen the ra rounding military successes of the American Union State so far? Obviously not. <sighs> Canada, you have made yourself an enemy for life. And it was also recommended in the comments yesterday, oh, we're defending Washington now, that I should join the Reichs Pact. That was a comment from yesterday. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it, but we'll see what happens. I might just make my own faction. Actually, we probably are going to form our own faction. So, Cool. And also, I do want to let you know, this is not going to be a Peli run. I do not want to have Peli in charge of anything just yet. So, we'll see what happens. How are you not dying from... Get Santa Fe. Meet the PSA folks. They're going to be a pain in the butt to deal with, but that's alright. Tucson, we're not going to get. That's okay. Move on up, move on up, move on up. <sighs> Topeka. Really can't expand any more that way, which really sucks. we got to really focus on... That's a disgusting Ohio. I mean, well, half of it's West Virginia. More than half of it's West Virginia. Um, Germany, please don't, please don't attack, man. Come on. Oh, Spain. Yeah, 1937 Dutch elections. You know what'd be funny if we trade with the coming of France? Well, let's not do that. The Russian Republic, probably not. Truman Empire, that's even further away. That's pretty far away. Maybe, maybe the Italians. The Italians are good people, right? These guys are going to get crushed, if not already. Uh, yeah, we're going to get some motorized too up here. Get the motorized, get the tanks up here. Nice, we're actually doing well on, uh, Light tanks, that's awesome. We're gonna need some rubber. Eventually, we'll get there. Actually, you guys could probably shorten the line that way. There you go, that's nice. That's some good stuff. Please do not lose Washington, D.C. We fought. <laughs> well, you didn't really fight that hard to get it, but I said once. Oh my god, look at that. <sighs> you came in for us, man. You really did. I'm going to divide these guys up. I'm going to segregate these forces away from each other. Legion Command. Uh, that's looking like a normal regiment. You guys are the same. You guys are what? 
You actually have artillery. That's not too bad, actually. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and select you all, and you're going to convert to as AUS infantry. That's fine for now. I'll throw you under Samson. Or Simpson. Not Samson. Simpson. What a simp. Cool. Nice. There you go. Yeah. This is a little easier than I thought it would be so far, but you know what? This is just the beginning of the Civil War. It's only a little bit two months for half an hour. Nice. Good job, guys. Get up here. Get up here. Because we got to push this way, too. But you're going to suck a little bit. Actually, we're going to suck quite a bit, probably. I'm just waiting for the event where... Um, oh, god dang it, Spain. I love Italy. But uh, I'm waiting for the event where we can core, like, Oklahoma and Missouri. Because that will be very good if we get that. When we get that. Help them out, help them out. Spanish Civil War. Everything's falling apart in the world. Don't want to forget to do this, too. We are not going to go to war economy yet, because, well, we can't afford it. Do we do anything down here? Not yet. God, let us build faster. Please stop attacking over there, guys. Oh, there. The CSA is actually attacking us. <sighs> Good. New Mexico, while it might not be worth much right now, it'll be a great addition to our military. If I could do something like that, that'd be great. Ooh, more divisions? Southern Texas, we love you. Uh, over here... I can't convert these divisions, can I? I cannot. Hmm. Because I only use these guys for the tanks. Make a 5th Army group, then. One big ol' front line. The Pacific States have probably had it pretty easy so far. Uh, craw. Crawfish. Nice. Good stuff, my friends. Good stuff. Oh, don't cancel all these, man. And Spain is killing itself, which is fine. These guys are not running out of supplies, too, so... War Powers Committee! Great! Business leaders within our territory have formed a committee ostensibly in support of Huey Long in order to cooperate the war effort on his behalf called the War Powers Committee. Just as Huey Long himself had created officers or offices to handle the monumental task of fighting for America, so did the industrials take it upon themselves to create an enormous an industrial institution. Though they do not have all the power that they were promised, they have declared themselves to be the arsenal of the AUS and are led by the controversially anti-Semitic but respected General George Van Horn Mosley. Oh, Mosley. What an interesting fellow. Even though I'm no, I'm not, I know, uh, words are hard. Still gonna need more artillery. Still gonna need more guns, though. Shoo wee. Cool. Uh, we're not making any divisions, which really sucks right now, but it is what it is. Oh, we're over our force limits for now. Not for long. Let's see. Four, four, four. Arkansas, you next. Ah, uh, Lexi, we got it. The Midwest is just falling apart for some reason. Now, this does extend our line, which I don't want to do. I am very tempted to move, move all my soldiers in here, but we're going to really limit ourselves. You know, I'll let the PSA take out the Dakotas and Wyoming and Montana and stuff like that. I'll let the CSA do that, too, because we want to concentrate our forces. I think the best thing for us to do is to take out the federal government and uh, move up through here, because this is going to be dangerous. If the CSA keeps this, we will have some serious problems. I promise you that. Some incredibly seriously problems. Seriously? Serious problems going up out. So I'm not going to extend in the Midwest. That is a big mistake that I could make. Uh, I see what they're doing. Ah, uh, the PSA, huh? They like to attack, huh? You like wasting American lives, don't you? How dare you do that? Come on, hurry up. Kill that division off. Yes, sir. We gotta get over here. Uh, yeah, this is part of the Upper Mississippi, Tulsa, Tennessee. Silver Legion, along the way during this national tour, William Pelly came into contact with the radio preacher Herbert A. Armstrong in order to raise an army for the American Union, stating in favor of that if they see the moral war, they have officially combined their beliefs to form the Pelly Armstrong line. This has swelled the Silver Legion into the tens of thousands of members from all across the country, and reports of their speeches have come in. In inclusion to the strongly anti Catholic and pro segregationist rhetoric of these speeches are promises that are said to have come from Huey Long in favor of almost extraordinary wages for wives and benefits for veterans after the Civil War. As these have entered the rumor mill, there is nothing we can stop these promises from spreading. What a windfall! We get a whole 5,000 more people. Yeah, I don't want to risk losing uh, equipment by doing that stuff there. Um, for the love of God, please hold out. For the love of God, please. Uh, why do we have Austrians attacking us here? Why? What in the world are you do Oh, shh, Nikes. You know what? That's okay. Just hold. Because if we can defend these mountains, that'd be great. And before we get too far, wow, Liberia, watch out. Civilian oversight. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Cavalry division. I mean, that's really not too bad. I'm going to keep using them then. Arkansas, thank you for joining the conflict. 4444 four, four, four. Mississippi. I think so far we've done pretty darn well for ourselves, you know? Uh, we've lost a good chunk of Arkansas. Or Arkansas. Kentucky, I mean. 
Oh, doing okay over there. Russia's doing Russian stuff. Firearms manufacturers, thank goodness. Uh, industrial contracts, we could use more military factories and faster motorized. Ooh, land doctrine would be nice though. Tank commission, cavalry tomorrow. Ooh. 35 days, 35 days. Let's do that one. Private enterprise has become an undeniable part of our military industry. It is time we drew up contracts and see what they can do to help us. It's just a matter of time before we can get tanks. Because we're trying to produce as many as we can, but our industrial capabilities right now, they ain't so bueno. I need you to move up this way. There's no... We can't lose Washington. If we want to fill out that line, that's fine. If we want to fill out the rest of this state, that's fine as well. Just because, uh... We already have it, so... Under us... You get there, you get up there, you get up there, you get up there. Take that area too, you get up there. Good. Argentina? Oh, well, we lost some supporters. It's alright. Oh! Hey, a little snag here, that's okay. Y'all, calm down. Don't move, don't attack for now. You could actually probably kick these guys out, actually. That'd be okay. Since they're looking pretty weak anyways. Alright, people are killing each other across the world, that's fine. The CSA is really doing a number on uh, MacArthur's people over there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab actually some resource efficiency gain, because we need to extract more. Just saying. Woo! Where are you guys? Oh, you're over here, that's fine. Alright, next up for Missouri. I'm really not concentrating on any one group too strongly right now. But you guys are gonna come over here, I'll beat these guys up if you can. I'll support the attack. We want to get rid of this so we can shorten our line a little bit better. That'd be actually really, 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 really good. Keep St. Louis for now. Good, good, good. Oh my god, you can't afford to lose. Oh good, we got extra divisions up there. Nice. Don't lose that air. Ah, good. Send another one that way too. I'm glad I got Simpson here. Especially near the center of this line here. That's good. That's good stuff. Denver. We... I don't think we can get Colorado. I think it's just too late for us to get to that. We could try, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be possible to support for the longest. Rebels fighting for the Union cause elsewhere in the U.S. have made contact with the government, offering an array of scavenger supplies. Oh, let's see. We have 41 right now, and we get 700 things. Hey! We have 41, we got 75, I think. So, I think, yeah. Yeah, numbers. I can add. Yeah, 75. Uh, maximum supported divisions? In fact, oh, that doesn't help. What do you mean, supported divisions? That mechanic does not make any sense for the Civil War at all. Good. Help kill them off down there. Oh, look at that. We got a little pokey here. I don't... You know, I like pokies, but this isn't the type of pokey that we really want. Ah. New Mexico's looking... Okay. It's looking okay. Not great. Ah, uh, another coming back in. Yeah, no. Go to hell, PSA. Fake Americans. I'll, say, I'll tell you what. Good. Help them out over there. Uh, three, 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 three. Uh, Florida. We're gonna call on the pawn. The dedication of the Florida man to assist us in this war. They enemies have no choice but to lose now when they have to fight the Florida man. God dang it, we can't get that tile. That sucks. Yeah, keep trying to take St. Louis. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I think I really want to focus on the CSA because fighting through the Rocky Mountains is going to be a pain in the butt. So we're just going to have a slow retreat coming from here, probably. And of course the Japanese would help them out. Of course they would. Don't even worry about it. Just hold. Just hold. That's all you have to do. Hold. You know, I'm going to actually have one division retreat here. Just so that we have enough guys guarding this line. Because these should be able to hold there. Uh, Germany. Germany. Why can't you be normal, Germany? Please. Come on. U.S. Clip. Okay, they declared war on Puerto Rico. Well, y'all do you, I guess. I'll put this to high. We need them now. Nice. More divisions. Florida man has arrived. It's going to help us out. Uh, Tennessee. Industrial contracts. Good, good, good. All right, American automotive industry, not bad. Actually, we could use that right now. Since the invention of the automobile has been taken up with earnest by the people of America, while most of the factories for cars are in the north where the syndicalists are running things, however, Henry Ford has moved south, so we should encourage other companies to follow in his footsteps. Yes, please. Uh, let's see over here. Partial mobilization, even more government support, or just support in general. Steel looking so bad. We need more rubber, though. Let's grab one thing of rubber from Brazil. I love Brazil. I love it. Oh, we can use just a smidgen more steel. Just a smidgen more. Yeah, we're going to need to grab that steel. 
I love Italian steel. Good, push them out of here. This is, is that Illinois? No, that's Kentucky. Yeah, Illinois is weird. Kentucky's weird. Actually, that's part of Kentucky doesn't even touch Kentucky, if you think about it. Yes, Puerto Rico, we'll have an integration pack with you for now. Okay, now we can extend the front line to be proper. Good. Now, it doesn't look like we can really grab Denver, which really sucks, but whatever. Yeah, we already lost the capabilities of getting Denver, but that's okay. Push them out that way. Just defend. Because if we can defend in the Rockies, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out, but that's okay. Um, Lincoln, I want Nebraska. Mm. At max, do that. Just because we might be able to core this as a state and then hold. Because I'm not, I'm not going to Iowa. I'm not going to the Dakotas. Now just hold there once we get Omaha and we'll be pretty good. See, we got Nebraska. There you go. Nice. South Carolina, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so really the goal here is to fight the CSA. That's the main goal because if you let them stay on board for too long, it's all over, man. It's just GG. Uh, we could use that. Uh, tanks. Tanks, tanks. Artillery. 39. Ah, uh, we forgot about this. We want tanks, we're gonna go mobile warfare. Nice. Alright, so they want to attack us. Very something fierce down here, but I'm gonna move up through here too. If I can, I'm gonna try to go that way maybe. We'll see what we can do maybe. See what happens. I'm not really seeing too many other areas where I can exploit the line or anything like that. And that's as far north as we're gonna go for now. Because other places are gonna need help. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? Uh, I mean, it's mostly the militia, which really sucks. Actually, I have an idea. You guys, be an ambusher. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, if I want to convert... Let's see, you guys, I can't convert you guys. Any other militia divisions? Oh, yes, I can convert you. 18 combat with, with artillery. Can I convert you to infantry divisions? I reckon this type of division, we need infantry equipment. Ooh, actually, how much more equipment do they need? National Guard, because that's not bad. How much artillery do we have? Not much. So they can really use 675 for 18 combat width. The American Infantry Division uses 13,050. Oh, this costs less. That makes sense. Okay. I thought they cost the same amount, so I'm like, why not? Why not try it? Why not? Mm -hmm -hmm. You might as well help out then. If you can't win up there, just hold on. We're gonna we're gonna try to get Kentucky. That's the goal. Kentucky is the goal. Uh, Germany, for the love of God, please stop attacking and wasting lives. Oh my goodness. All right, they have exhausted themselves. Don't lead with the militia. Maybe just a little bit though. Help support the attack. And actually, this guy, you're gonna break over to was that Indiana? It is Indiana. Nice. You're both gonna break for Indiana. Well. Which way? Go that way. Good, good, good. Send this division over here. As we are slowly going to be losing New Mexico, but that's okay with me. That's actually totally fine. These divisions aren't really going to be doing much, which really sucks. Go there. We might be able to push this way if we're good enough. Push them back over the river. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Good. Um, yeah, if we do that, that'd be great. See what we can do. A couple more divisions. South Carolina, your country thanks you. Where are you guys at? Oh, I'm going to actually keep you guys down here then. Because we're slowly going to be losing. As long as we don't lose like this region, we'll be okay. But, hmm. Virginia? Yeah, Virginia. Only two divisions in Virginia. How does Virginia only have two divisions? I mean, yeah, it's not like extremely, extremely, extremely well developed. But there are regions of Virginia that are really nice, that are really well developed. Don't make sense, man. Sometimes it don't make sense, but that's okay. Doing pretty well where we have to be. This is... I love this distraction in the New England area. MacArthur was pretty lucky with that. Oh, crap. We can't push through here. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. You actually might be able to still break, be able to break through. So you hold. And you hop out. Oh, we're getting attacked. Okay, well, whatever. Still getting attacked on here. Alash Orda was, is gone. Um, please hop out. Oh, they actually broke through over here. Nice. Two militia divisions. Uh, let's see. We could go that way. We're gonna go this way. We want Louisville. Oh my goodness, how are you losing? Oh, this is just open plains around here. Well, that ain't good. We have open holes here too. That's not good. Cool. American automotive industry, and then 
Tank commission, electronics. Let's do tank commission. So it's imperative that we use information from our battles to design better tanks. The enemy is showing a surprising speed in enlarging their shield size to meet our armor upgrade. So, anyways. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end it here. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And let me know in the comments. What's a good intelligence agency name for the American Union State, which we've so expanded thus far? Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.